In the meantime, visitors at the New York Botanical Garden are patiently waiting to see and smell. This plant, it is known as the corpse flower, supposed to bloom at any moment. This is a live picture. When's the last time we did a live picture of a plant? Well, because when this thing comes to life, the plant's scent is not exactly something you want to endure for long, especially in the heat. CBS 2's Jill Nicolini reports now from the Bronx. I'm excited to see the plant. What did you hear it smells like? Strawberry. Strawberry? Rotted cheese. This is the first time the New York Botanical Garden has flowered an amorphophallus titanum known as the corpse flower since 1939. It will release its famous fragrance, which does smell like rotting meat, rotting fish. It's really quite sharp on the nose. For the past 10 years, the New York Botanical Garden has been nurturing about a dozen seedlings in hope one would produce a bloom. Since Friday, the corpse flower has grown significantly, and visitors are coming out to the almost 100 degree conservatory just to get a glimpse and a whiff of this rarity. So you think yeah. the heat is worse than what it will smell like? Uh, well, I think it's a toss up. <laughs> well, if we stay here long enough, we'll find out. The director of the greenhouse is here. Mark Hatchadorian says soon the native Indonesian flower will be opening, most likely during the middle of the night. It not only smells like rotting meat, it looks like rotting meat. Are you prepared to smell it? Yes. If I wanted to see it but not smell it, I would just look it up on the internet. How bad do you think it's going to smell? What did you hear it smells like? Rotten meat. A, a corpse. A corpse. What do you think it's going to smell like? Yay, cotton candy. We brought a barf bag just in case it was too bad. The flower will stay open for about 24 to 36 hours before it closes and goes dormant, along with the wretched smell. The Botanical Garden is predicting that the corpse flower will bloom within the next 48 hours and then release its pungent odor. In the Bronx, Jill Nicolini, CBS 2 News. Experts say the corpse flower emits the smell in hopes of attracting insects to pollinate and then reproduce. I love the line, if I wanted to see it and not smell it, I'd look it up on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> that from, she couldn't have been more than 10 years old. <laughs> be a great security tool, right? Yeah. Put it in front of your house. Keep people away. All right.